Hey guys, welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about upgrading your ESXi host from 6.5 to 6.7. So this tutorial follows on from my last tutorial, which was how to upgrade vCenter from 6.5 to 6.7. So in this tutorial, we're going to be upgrading two hosts. The first host we're going to be upgrading via Update Manager. The second host we're going to be upgrading via the CLI just so I can show you two different types of upgrades and how you would do it in real life if Update Manager wasn't available. So with that being said, I'm going to pop off to the right and we'll get started. First up, we're going to want to browse to myvmware.com. Click on Downloads, followed by All Products, VMware vSphere, View Download Components. Look for VMware vSphere Hypervisor ESXi 6.7 Update 1 and we'll click on Go to Downloads. Here we're going to want to download the vSphere Hypervisor ESXi ISO. The ISO image will be used for upgrading our ESXi host using Update Manager. Once that's downloaded, we're going to go up here where it says Select Version. We're going to drop it down and select 6.7.0. Within here, we're going to select the ESXi Offline Bundle. The Offline Bundle will be used to upgrade our ESXi hosts using the CLI. Once those two files have been downloaded, we can return to the vSphere web interface. Within the vCenter web interface, I'll click on Updates, and then I'll click on Update Manager Home. I'll then click on ESXi Images, and we'll click Import. And now we'll browse to where our ESXi 6.7 ISO file is. Select your ISO file, and then we'll click on Open. The ISO file gets uploaded to vCenter, We can now see it in the list of available ESXi images. We'll click on the Baselines menu, and we're going to create a new baseline. I'll give my baseline a name of Upgrade ESXi 6.7. Optionally, you can give a description, and for content, make sure Upgrade is selected. We'll click Next. This is the ESXi image that we've just uploaded, so I'll select that, and I'll click Next. Here is a summary of your settings, and I'll click on Finish. Here we can see our baseline that we've just created. So now we're going to go back to Hosts and Clusters. I'm going to be placing my first ESXi host into Maintenance Mode. To do that, I'll right-click on it, we'll go down to Maintenance Mode, and select Enter Maintenance Mode. I'll leave the option ticked for Move Powered Off and Suspended Virtual Machines to other hosts in the cluster. We'll click OK. A warning is displayed, letting you know that the host will enter maintenance mode once all the virtual machines have migrated off. So I'll click OK. And we can see down the bottom that the vMotion is already underway. So the virtual machines are going to be migrated off ESXi 1, and they will go over to ESXi 2. Once that's done, ESXi 1 will then be placed into maintenance mode. I'll click over on the VMs tab. And we can see we have two powered on virtual machines and one powered off virtual machine. Once the powered on virtual machines have migrated across to ESXi2, the host will then go into maintenance mode. Okay, the host's been placed into maintenance mode. I'll click on the Updates tab now. I'll then click on Host Updates. From this window, we want to click on Attach. And then I'll select the baseline that we created earlier, which was the Upgrade ESXi 6.7 baseline. We'll then click on Attach. Now that the baseline has been attached, I'm going to select it. And just before I click on Remediate, I'm going to open up a console window to this ESXi host so that we can see the sequence of the upgrade happening in the background. I've now opened up the console window to my ESXi host. So I'll click back into the vSphere web interface, and now I'm going to click on Remediate. I'll accept the end user license agreement. The pre-check has run and no actions need to be taken. Just make sure that your host is selected here in the table. If I scroll down a little bit, 
I can expand on the install image option. We can see that the ESXi version is 6.7 along with the build number. This build number corresponds to update 1. If I continue to scroll down, we have some scheduling options. With the scheduling option, we can schedule this update to run at a later time. So you can just simply click this box and set a time and date when you want this to run. I'll untick this box because I want it to run as soon as possible. We'll then have a look at remediation settings. And because we've placed the ESXi host into maintenance mode already, a lot of these options don't apply. For example, the VM power state, so do not change the VM power state. However, there's no virtual machines on the ESXi host at the moment. Our host is already in maintenance mode, so this option doesn't apply. Our ESXi host is not Pixie booted, so this option also doesn't apply. And once again, the VM migration option doesn't apply to us because our host is already in maintenance mode and does not contain any virtual machines. I'll now click on Remediate. And we can see the task has begun down here in the task list. I'm then going to open up the console window to my ESXi host. And we're going to be able to see the status of the upgrade. Our host has now been upgraded to 6.7 update 1 and we can see at the bottom left here that the tasks for the upgrade are just completing. So we'll just wait for the green tick there until we continue. Okay, I'm going to minimize my console window for the ESXi host. The host has automatically exited from maintenance mode and we can see that the virtual machines are starting to migrate back to that host now. With our ESXi host selected, we'll click on the Summary tab and we can see that our ESXi host is now at 6.7 with the build number that corresponds to Update 1. That completes Part 1 of this tutorial in upgrading ESXi 1 via Update Manager. The second part, we're going to be looking at upgrading ESXi 2 to 6.7 via the command line. To do that, I'm going to be placing ESXi 2 into maintenance mode. All the virtual machines will now be vMotioned over to ESXi 1. So I'll click OK. And we'll click OK to the warning. We'll then click on the VMs tab. And we'll just wait for these virtual machines to migrate over to ESXi 1. The host is now in maintenance mode. The first thing we're going to check on this host is to see if we're able to SSH to it. In order to do that, we'll click on the configure menu. And I'll scroll down and click on services. Look for the SSH service and make sure that that is started. We can now launch our SSH client which is PuTTY and we'll establish an SSH connection to NSXA ESXi2. I'll log in as root and I'm going to browse to the directory slash var slash temp. As we can see there are no files in this directory. We are going to be uploading the offline file that we downloaded previously and placing it into this directory. To do that, I'm going to be using a program called WinSCP. So we'll launch that now. And just ensure that you have SFTP selected for the file protocol. For the host, I'll type in nsx-a-esxi2. And for the username, I'll type in root and I'll type my password. We'll click on login. Okay, on the right side here, we've got our ESXi host. So I'll browse to var and temp. And the left hand side, we have our local computer. I'm going to browse to where I have my offline file. I'll then select the file and I'll drag and drop it into the right hand side. This is going to copy the file up to the ESXi host. Once the file has uploaded, we can then return to our PuTTY CLI session. First up, let's just do another ls so we can see that the file is there. And yes, the file is there. So now I'm going to be typing in quite a long command starting with ESX CLI software profile update. You'll see that within the window, but I'll also put a bigger version of it uh, on the screen right now. 
I'll just run through the CLI command. We're telling the ESXi server that we're going to be performing an update. The dash P shows the patch release name and the dash D is the directory and file of the actual update itself, which is this zip file. I'm now going to press enter to begin the upgrade. The upgrade has been installed and if we scroll up here, we can see that the update has installed successfully, but in order to apply it, we're going to need to reboot the host. To do that, we just simply type in reboot and press enter. I'm going to open up the console on the right hand side so you can see the upgrade status. I'll press enter now. And here we have the console. ESXi host number two has now been upgraded. And as we can see on screen here, the version is 6.7. And if you have a sharp eye, you would have picked up that the build version is different to the first host that we completed the upgrade with. So the first host, we were able to go straight up to 6.7 update one. However, with the offline upgrade going from 6.5 to 6.7, we first have to go to the baseline version. Then we can perform an update to update one. I'm now going to return to the vSphere web interface and I'll click on the summary tab. And as we can see, the hypervisor is 6.7 with the build version of 8169922. Now that we have our ESXi server at 6.7, you're probably asking yourselves, how do we upgrade this to update one? And the answer is with update manager. So we're going to click on update and then update manager home baselines. And we're going to be attaching the critical host patches as well as the non-critical host patches to our ESXi server. In order to do that, we'll click on hosts and clusters. Make sure that you have your ESXi server selected. We'll click on host updates. I'll then click on attach. And we'll select critical host patches as well as non-critical host patches. And then click attach. We'll click back on overview and I'll click on check compliance. We have 52 patches, including eight critical and three security to install. I'll click on host updates. And if I click on the critical host patches, we can see that the status is non-compliant. If I scroll down a little bit here and we sort by status column, we can see a list of missing patches. These are gonna be installed at the next remediation. And we can see in our list that we have the update for ESXi 6.7 complete update one. If you'd like to know what these other updates are, you can simply copy and paste the update ID and do a quick search in Google. This will take you to the KB article. And in the KB article, it will list all the information on this patch. We'll now have a look at the non-critical host patches. We can see that we have quite a few non-critical host patches that are missing. So these are going to be installed at the next update. And in order to install these patches, first up, we must stage them, which means copying the patches to the ESXi host. So we'll start on critical and click stage. This window just highlights that we're going to be installing the patches onto the ESXi2 host. And if I click on stage eight updates, we can see a list of all the critical updates that are about to be staged. So with that being said, I'll click on stage. The staging is now complete for the critical host patches. I'm going to repeat the same process with the non-critical host patches. So I'll make sure that's selected and I'll click on stage. Again, make sure it says ESXi2 up here or the name of your host. And we'll expand on stage 14 updates. And we can see a list of all of our updates that are going to be staged. So I'll click stage. And once the updates have been staged, we can then go ahead and click on remediate. Here's a quick remediation summary for our host. And if I click on install 44 updates, we can see a list of the updates that are about to be installed. 
there are a few pages there so you can scroll to the right and see the different pages the other options that we have are we can schedule this to run at a later time and some remediation settings very similar to what we saw with our ESXi One host most of these we don't have to worry about because we have our host in maintenance mode already and our host also does not pixie boot I'm going to go ahead and click on remediate this will take a little bit of time to get the patches installed once they're installed the ESXi host will reboot so we will see it disconnect and reconnect here and once the host has reconnected I'll click on the summary tab and we'll be able to see ESXi 6.7 along with the new build number okay the host has now rebooted so let's click on the summary tab and if you remember before the ESXi 6.7 build version was 8169922 however now it is being upgraded to 107.64712 and if we want to check this build number with the version of ESXi 6.7 we can simply go to this KB article this KB article lists all the ESXi versions along with the corresponding build numbers we can see that our build number is 107.64712 and that corresponds to ESXi 6.7 EP05 this build version contains ESXi 6.7 update 1 as well as the latest critical and non-critical patches if we head back to the vSphere web interface once again ESXi 2 is running build version 107.64712 However, if we go back to ESXi 1, we can see that we're running build version 103.02608. This contains just update 1. It does not contain all the latest critical and non-critical patches. So what I'm going to do now is repeat the same process of attaching the critical baseline as well as the non-critical baseline. I'll then stage and remediate both baselines the host will perform a similar action where it will reboot, disconnect and then reconnect. Once it's connected I'll click on the summary tab and be able to show you the build version. Okay guys I'm back our ESXi one host has now rebooted applied the patches and we can see here in the build version it is 107.64712 which is the exact same build as our ESXi two host okay I hope you've enjoyed this video on upgrading ESXi 6.5 to 6.7 don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on my latest videos you can also subscribe to my Twitter feed at SysTutorials and if you have any comments or feedback please leave them in the comment section below thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video